Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here, and today we're gonna to be doing an audio comparison between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro. Not only the transmitter's built-in internal mic, but also both of them hooked up with a lavalier mic. All right, so as you've already seen on the screen, I've been switching back and forth between the two different microphones. To give you a little bit more time to have a more honed in audio comparison, I'm going to spit some lyrics from my song, Doubt Me. So I'll do four bars and then repeat that clip with the other mic. So I'll play you guys four bars off of one mic and then repeat that same video, but with the audio from the other mic. Then I'll do another set of four bars with both transmitters connected to a lavalier mic. I got people hating on me daily, saying I won't make it and it ain't even a maybe, laughing at my dreams and my goals and ambitions, telling me to quit and I should rethink my decisions. I got people hating on me daily, saying I won't make it and it ain't even a maybe, laughing at my dreams and my goals and ambitions, telling me to quit and I should rethink my decisions. Now, personally, when it comes to the built-in mic, I think that the Rode Wireless Pro sounds better. The DJI mic's definitely a darker sound, which oftentimes I actually prefer, but I feel like the DJI is a little bit too concentrated in the mids and the lows. So to show you, we can run some EQs here with the visualizers turned on and put them side by side so you can actually see the audio frequencies moving at the exact same time. So if I go ahead and pan the DJI to the left and the Rode to the right, you should be able to hear that there's actually a difference. I got people hating on me daily, saying I won't make it and it ain't even a maybe, laughing at my dreams and my goals and ambitions, telling me to quit and I should rethink my decisions. The Rode has more presence. You can see that the Rode would have a little bit more of a brighter sound. Now I've seen some people on YouTube have the DJI Mic 2's built-in mic transmitter sounding pretty muffled. And I don't know if that's just bad quality control and they got bad units or what the case is, but mine doesn't seem to be sounding bad. Even though the Rode definitely is a little bit more full and vibrant, DJI still sounds pretty decent to me. And if you wanna have a sound that's a little closer to Rode, you can easily EQ it. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of any transmitters ever being on talent or on screen like this. I never attach them to clothes. I always have them hidden and I'm always using lavalier mics. The lavalier mic that I choose to use for pretty much any wireless microphone system like this, either DJI or Rode, is the Rode Lavalier 2. However, there are rare instances where I do want to just place one of these microphones somewhere else when it's not on a person to capture sound of the environment or sometimes even put it in front of a speaker at an event so it's almost like I'm tapped into their live sound. But other than that, when I'm using these mics on individual people, it's always with a lav. All right, so I have two Rode Lav 2 microphones that I'm going to connect into each of these transmitters and ideally the sound should be pretty much identical. So now I have a Rode Lavalier 2 on each of the transmitters and pretty much positioned at the exact same distance and same angle from my mouth. So let's hear what this sounds like. Doubt me, those who don't think that I'ma win, doubt me. All y'all who think that I should quit, doubt me. Those who don't think that I'ma make it, doubt me cause when I do you'll be quick to embrace it, doubt me. Those who don't think that I'ma win, doubt me. All y'all who think that I should quit, doubt me. Those who don't think that I'ma make it, doubt me cause when I do, you'll be quick to embrace it. So I have the DJI pan to the left and the Rode pan to the right. I dare you, go ahead and doubt me. That's more motivation, all it does is help me. Every ounce of my heart I deliver. I ain't yet a winner, but I definitely ain't a quitter. That sounds pretty much identical. Now one thing that I did notice is that the Rode transmitter still has more on the low frequencies, but it's not really something that you can notice off of dialogue. I'm always using labs and you can see here that with labs, no matter which mic system you go with, the DJI Mic 2 or the Rode Wireless Pro, you are getting great quality. So I suggest getting a quality lavalier and the one that I recommend is the Rode Lav 2. So there you guys have it. That's the audio comparison between the Rode Wireless Pro and the DJI Mic 2. Both are really great. I highly recommend both of them to be honest, though personally now I'm using the DJI Mic 2 a little bit more because it has the touch screen and ability to change all the settings on the fly without having to use the app. Both have pros and cons, and I have another video coming soon comparing the two more in depth. Hopefully this video helped you out. We have a lot more audio and DJI Mic 2 videos on this channel. Please make sure to check out the audio playlist. If you're interested in getting either of them or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.